So now, in my last video, uh, we looked at the color code a little bit, and uh, these resistors are magnetic, so they can be annoying sometimes. They jump like that. Uh, but in case, uh, we got the 1000 ohm resistor color code there. I was using uh, 1500 ohms, 1.5k ohm uh, resistors in a recent circuit, and so I thought I would compare its color code with this one. Again, all we had was a green band in this spot right there where that zero turned into a five, 1,500. Otherwise, the code was the same. And you notice there's a brown band uh, to the right. That is the tolerance. Whatever this value is, the actual value might be 1% uh, higher or lower, somewhere in that range. These are cheap resistors, so I don't even think it's quite that accurate, but that's what that means. You wanna put that to the right, which can be a problem if uh, the first band is also brown from time to time. I don't have a great uh, solution uh, for that and uh, I'll kind of show you what I mean in a little bit uh, right there. So in any case This is a 47 K resistor. I mentioned in the last video a lot of the value resistors I've used started with four and seven usually it was one of these beige ones at uh, 470 ohms when I was doing 9 volt uh, circuits before I bought the uh, blue uh, resistors and uh, so you can see labeled there 47 K although the writing is kind of off so that's another reason why you might want to look or learn uh, the color code enough to, you know, tell slight differences in resistance values. Um, but yeah, 4, 7, and then K means there's th uh, three more zeros, uh, thousand right there. And this is where the comma would be if it's, uh, or it's where the decimal point is, 4, 7.0, infinity or whatever. Um, but uh, in any case, that K means kilo ohms thousands of ohms right there so there's two in the bag and this one down there when it comes to resistors that are in the tens of thousands of ohms other than 10,000 ohms um, this was the one that had the most resistors pulled off of the paper that indicates the value I might recommend getting kits that show the value so in any case enough rambling on right there I have the 10k right there and uh, so if I'm using 1,000 ohm resistors and 10k's on the board whatever is red right there I know is a 10k resistor um, but uh, if those are the only two values I got on the board but maybe I'll come across uh, one of these for some reason maybe I forgot to put it away or whatever and even though it's got the red band we got yellow and violet right there so I pretty much instinctively know that means 4 7 because as I said before I used it a lot usually in that version right there which has the multiplier in a different spot okay so we got 4 7 black is 0 and then red is 2 so that could be um, times 100, or you could think of it as two more zeros, 4700, zero, zero, zero. just like this is uh, uh, one zero, uh, zero, and then two more zeros where the red band is right there. So yeah, it's really easy if uh, you know, you're used to 10K right there. We got the red band there. We know this is 10,000 in the 10,000 uh, uh, range. Um, not uh, 10,000, but like 10,000, 20,000, that was kind of stuck in my finger, 30,000, and so on. It's in that range. Um, pretty easy to uh, jump through that. So, yeah, if you're uh, not used to the color code, yeah, we'll do a quick um, look at uh, this graph again right there. Unfortunately, the camera's holding the paper in a bad spot. There we go. So, the uh, first one, again, is the first digit, as always. Second one is the second digit. With the blue ones, you have a third digit you can do. Beige ones, you don't. You go right to the multiplier. And uh, so, yeah, you just look at what the color is, and um, you use that number with it. And again, with the multiplier, um, if you're using uh, these uh, colors, usually it's you know closer to that range, then um, it's easiest just to take the number. And uh, that's the number of zeros. So black means there's no more zeros. Uh, so for uh, uh, the yellow, violet, which is the same as purple, uh, black, and uh, and then black again, you have 470, and then no more zeros. Hopefully that makes sense. 470, and then no more zeros uh, right there. Whereas if it's red, that means there's two more zeros. Um, so if there's black there, that means times one. If it's red, it means times 100. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So as I said before, we got the tolerance there, and I forgot to mention it while we were looking at this. Um, this particular kit that I got, uh, some of them are not too bad, but uh, you can't really, 
in my opinion, tell uh, which side is the tolerance band. Other than these blue ones are pretty much always uh, 1%, you know, brown for 1%. Uh, but sometimes these resistors, like the 1000 and the 10K, um, the first one is also brown uh, right there. Um, so with this particular one, I wouldn't be able to tell uh, the difference. But if you got that red band right there, it's probably not a resistor that starts with 1, 2. I don't uh, really see those. Um, so if I see a red band um, as the second bar, I usually assume that means it goes to the right over there. So it's not really the second bar, but uh, it looks like it is if you turn it around, as you can see there. So I don't usually see a number 2 as the second digit, uh, you know, 1, 2. And uh, so that's an easy way if uh, both ends are brown right there. So that's just another tip. Um, you know, there's a lot of annoyances when it comes to dealing with resistors. I don't have perfect answers. You know, somebody was really annoyed with me because if, uh, you know, some of these uh, resistors, there's brown on both ends and um, you really can't tell um, unless you know what value resistors you got. And they got annoyed with me that I couldn't give them an answer to always be able to tell, you know, sometimes, uh, you may have to like measure it if it's in a circuit you got to realize other things might influence the resistance uh, you want to isolate it disconnect one or both sides if if possible um, but yeah there's other ways you can see what the resistance is um, but uh, most of the time they come in kits I recommend getting kits where the values are listed in some way or another other ones put a little white piece of paper on there that tell their values and other things uh, like that I paid a little less um, or I think quite a bit less for this kit Mostly because it had a lot of values um, for the price. Um, but uh, again, they're not as accurate as uh, higher quality resistors that I've come across. Um, you know, maybe it drifts a little more or less than uh, 1%. But uh, perfectly fine. Also, the uh, the wire leads right here, it's called. It's spelled like lead, but it's leads. Um, they are thin on these. So when I insert them into the breadboard, i got to be a little careful if I jam them. Uh, as hard as some thicker ones, these will bend out of shape, you know, a lot easier. Um, so in any case, uh, yeah, I'll also uh, point out this note. Uh, last video we had a, a 1,500 ohm uh, resistor. Not all kits would include that. If it's an E3 series, that means there's three values um, that are in uh, that kit. Usually you won't see this, but if you keep seeing the same three, uh, you know, one, two next to two, and then four next to seven, then you know that it's uh, an E3 uh, series. They just take these three numbers and they keep, you know, making it, uh, you know, like 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, so on. But they all start with one zero or two two or four seven right there. That's another reason why I picked uh, four seven for these values because, um, you know, they've been around uh, pretty much forever. As time went on, they started making. Uh, you know resistors that begin with other digits and uh, you know same process though they can have more zeros also there's uh, uh, colors I believe it's uh, gold and silver where they're in the multiplier that's less than uh, you know multiplying by one it's like 0.1 for one of them and 0 0.01 for the other one you get smaller uh, than uh, what you see on those three digits right there you can get a single digit or uh, or the tens. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but in case, yeah, uh, rambled on about this long enough, but this is intended for uh, beginners with the color code, but I hope you're a little bit familiar with them. You don't have to get super familiar with them. You don't have to memorize the code uh, or anything, but you get a little familiar with it. Note the colors when you take it out of the package, and uh, it'll quickly come to you. You'll get familiar with it. You can use it quickly, uh, whether or not you memorize it. And then you can look up uh, troublesome, uh, you know, color code uh, resistors that you come across for one reason or the other. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.